Hey guys, Dow Phoenix here, and this is a video to say farewell to the infamous Loot Cave. I've only been familiar with the Loot Cave myself since last night, and I only was there for maybe about a span of an hour, but I already have fond memories of the Loot Cave. See, in Destiny, there is one common complaint that players have. And that complaint is the game has a very poor rate for item drops and ingram drops. The loot cave alleviated that problem because of the endless spawning enemies that spawned every approximately five seconds or so. And they're all low level enemies. Generally, you can kill them in just one shot. And usually, you get anywhere between. Three to ten enemies per spawn. So, in the span of just a few minutes, you can already have a couple Ingrams built up, as well as some uncommon items that you can, you know, dismantle to get some upgrading materials. I even managed to get a legendary Ingram drop, although most of the Ingrams were blues, a aka rare drops, which... Typically, don't give that great a loot, but it does give you Cryptarch rank. And Cryptarch rank can lead to ranking up to Cryptarch, which can give you some more Ingrams that potentially are good ones, as well as improve the chances that when you get, say, a legendary or exotic Ingram, that you'll have a more likely chance to get good items. It really isn't hard to see why players have been so fond of the loot cave. It's not exactly a exciting venture. You're just sitting there shooting at the same cave for, you know, minutes on end. Then you rush into the cave, pick up your items, run back and repeat. And that's the whole game of the game there. You'll see exactly what I mean here in just a moment. I'm going to pick up a lot of stuff once we go into the cave. It's probably going to take about... 10 or 15 seconds to reach the cave. So, let's see what we've got in the cave here now. So, after you grab the loot that this cave is famously known for, you run back to that barrier so that the spawn will reset and you can rinse and repeat, kill more enemies, grab more loot, level up more stuff for your grimoire, experience for your weapons, all that good stuff. But alas, the fun is over. Bungie has decided to issue a hotfix in order to address this particular loot cave. Uh, what they have done with this hotfix is they increase the spawn timers, so it takes longer for the enemies to spawn. I don't know how much longer exactly, but I'm guessing it's probably not going to be nearly as lucrative as it used to be. And I suppose I can understand the viewpoint of some people. You know, some people may think that exploits like this is cheating. The game, you know, cheating your experience with the game, you know, not having a natural progression with the game, basically trying to make a shortcut out of it. And while I can't argue those points that they would bring up, at the same time, the only reason why people exploited this particular loot cave in the first place is because Destiny has become very infamous with how it handles item drops. Although Bungie does not refer to Destiny as a MMO game, it seems that the level of grind required to progress is very similar to an MMO. I think a good game to compare it to is World of Warcraft. Now, whenever I used to play World of Warcraft, it was a game that was capped at level 60, which is approximately twice the level cap that Destiny has. Now, apparently... Bungie has recently confirmed the first player to ever reach level 30. And this player claims that it took them around 115 hours to complete that. Now, I had to look back a little bit to see how long it took to level to level 60 in WoW. And I found a man by the name of Furious Paul. He is a video game speedrunner. I've actually never heard of him before. But I did look over his information about it. And he said that his fastest speed run to get to level 60 back with the original WoW before any expansions was 4 days, 
20 hours and 52 minutes. Which, that's quite a long time to spend in one single video game, but that is the name of the game for a lot of MMORPGs. So that's not exactly uncommon. Those games, after all, are supposed to provide you with tons of hours of entertainment to play through. And, whoa, uh, I had no idea that this happens, apparently. This apparently happens every 30 minutes or so when you're at the loot cave. Now, it's almost as though Bungie was aware that this was a problem. Okay, so if we add up the time that I mentioned to get from level 1 to 60 in WoW, and this is vanilla WoW, apparently from what I understand and read, they had made the leveling from 1 to 60 a lot quicker after they did the expansions and increased the level caps. So basically, 60 was no longer the top level. It was just, I guess, like, like an intermediate level, and they made it something else now. I think it's supposed to be 90, if I'm not mistaken, with the uh, latest expansions coming out. But anyways, my point being is you were able to technically progress twice as fast in the original WoW, which was actually considered one of the fastest games to grind in at the time that it came out in MMORPGs than you can in Destiny. Now, you might be wondering why that is. I mean, we all know that Destiny technically has a soft level cap of 20. And basically what this means is you no longer gain experience points to go towards leveling up. You instead earn Motes of Light using that experience. And that's usually basically used to buy items. In addition to that, you also begin to use items like Crucible Marks and Vanguard Marks and things like that to buy legendary equipment. And you also do the various strikes and missions and Crucible matchups and so on in order to earn the gear that you need to level up. Because there's an attribute called a light stat, which determines that. Now, do bear in mind that the guy that has been the first to level at level 30, you know, he may not be the most efficient at it necessarily, so much as maybe he's just been able to spend the time. After all, the game's only been out a little more than two weeks, and he's spent... 115 hours in the game? That's a pretty big chunk of time. We're looking at approximately, you know, somewhere between 55 to 60 hours a week that this guy was playing. So either he doesn't have a job or he uh, must have took a vacation or something just to play Destiny, which that's great kudos to him, right? Now, if we were to compare his stats to mine, I'm at level 25 right now. So I still got five levels to go. And according to the Destiny app, I've spent 27 hours and eight minutes in the game since launch. So that uh, isn't quite so bad. I mean, there's a couple days that I actually played a lot, but most days I was only able to get maybe an hour or two in. So just take that as you will. Now, it's totally possible that I could reach level 30 in less than 115 hours. Assuming that I figure out the right way to, you know, do grinds and things like that. And maybe with a little luck, maybe I could do it in 80 or 90 hours. I don't know. But it is still quite a long time, you must admit. I mean, even by MMO standards, that is a long time. And so... The core of the problem with this is that the reason why it takes so long to get that high of a level is because the item drops are really low. Now, I can understand what Bungie is doing. You know, they're trying to have people be in the game for as long as possible until the expansions come out. And I'm sure we will very likely see an increase in the level cap once those expansions come out. But that being said, if they want to avoid the MMO moniker, then they need to stop using so many MMO mechanics like they are using in Destiny. Um, they definitely need to rework certain things, like how the item drops work, how the spawns are, of course, so that you don't have exploits like the loot cave. And also, more variety in the content that is offered is definitely going to make things feel like less of a grind. So that's all I've got to say for now. Farewell to you, loot cave. And with that, 
Down Phoenix out. <laughs> You'll never take me alive. Subscribe, you know what's up. That's so good.